Our next guest is one of our favorite funny leading ladies who can currently be seen alongside our very own Adrian on Fox's new hit show, I Can See Your Voice. Please welcome back our girl, Cheryl Hines. Hi, Cheryl. Hi. Hi, Hi guys. Welcome back, Cheryl. Okay, you know I'm obsessed with you, and we're actually going to get into our show. I can see your voice in just a bit. But first, we have to talk about one of my favorite shows ever. You know this. Curb Your Enthusiasm! Okay, you guys are celebrating your 20th anniversary this year. So I have to ask Cheryl, throughout the 20 years, what would you say is your proudest or most memorable moment from the show? Um, One of my most memorable moments, and I had no idea it was going to affect me like this, but there was one season when I left Larry, and yeah. we were shooting the scene, and it's all improvised, you know, so I had to break up with Larry and tell him I was leaving, and it was so sad, and there was, everybody on set was so quiet, and the mood was, you know, so sad, and Larry was like, this is a comedy, you gotta lighten up. <laughs> So that was one of my, I mean, listen, I, ha I could go on for days, but that's one that sticks with me. Was it the one after you were on the airplane and he wasn't there for you during the turbulence? Yes. I know, yes. Curb Your Enthusiasm has gotten me through this pandemic. Just saying. Well, well you and Larry that. have really great chemistry. and But I heard you have a picture of Larry David in a very interesting room in your house. Your powder room, does he know you keep him in the bathroom? <laughs> I don't think he does yet. I mean, the next time he comes he over, now. he will. But uh, because of this what pandemic, picture? I haven't had any. Uh, oh, I, it's a picture. <laughs> you know, I got, well, you know, I got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And so I asked Larry to sign one of his pictures congratulating me. So I had to ask him to congratulate me. <laughs> On my oh, star, wow. and it's Larry with a weird mustache that's clearly painted on or something, holding a pipe, saying congratulations. <laughs> Classic. Now, you, obviously, you know Larry very well. How is he holding up? How is he handling COVID? I think Larry was ahead of the curve as far as uh, social distancing goes. <laughs> I mean, I think he's been social <laughs> yes. distancing since the 70s, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't... My man. He doesn't particularly man. like people, yeah. So he's, but he's doing just fine. That's funny. That. Well, you know, since lockdown, Cheryl, what have you missed the most? Okay, this might sound crazy, but I miss smelling people. What? <laughs> you know, because, ah! wait, what? Well, we all have these masks on, right? So you can't, usually yeah. when you see someone, you're like, oh, they smell like the ocean or they smell like, Grass or whatever it is. <laughs> what? But I, 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 I got you. you. Know, when you see somebody and you go in and hug them, and usually somebody has, you know, an essence of sorts. Perfume. Yeah. Okay. Or, you got or you. an so essence. Sure. Yeah, some people got some funky breath, though, Cheryl. You're not going to miss out on that breath. <laughs> Well, have you thought about how you're going to celebrate Thanksgiving this year? Obviously, the holidays are coming up, and so many people are planning with quarantine. What are your thoughts? Um, well, I think it's going to be a different Thanksgiving because I will yeah. be shooting yeah. Curb Your Enthusiasm. So I am going to – this is what I think is going to happen. I think we're going to set up tables outside, and I think I'm going to be off mm. in a little corner by myself. <laughs> Just like oh. waving to my family. Because, yeah, you would have not been with them. You would have been filming. Right. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I need to, yes, I have to really, you know, you guys know, there are a lot of protocols that go along yeah. with shooting. So yeah. you have to really be thoughtful and careful and um, follow the guidelines. So perhaps next year we'll all be sitting around the dining room, but this year might look a little different. <laughs> Yeah. Well, so speaking true. of next year, Cheryl, what is your biggest goal for 2021? Let's think something positive. <laughs> okay. I really would like to big see goals. my mom. Dream big. So, I oh would like to go gosh. on a vacation with my mom. How about that? I would like to go, when you know. When was the last time you saw your mom? Um, you know, early this year. So I would like to Aww. see her and, um, you know, hang out and... Yeah. I don't know. Maybe go on a little vacation. So you live in LA, but your mom your mom lives in a different state. She lives elsewhere. She lives in Florida. 
Yeah. Oh, God. oh wow. Yeah. Right. Like so many people. Well, uh, hopefully well, that comes true, Cheryl. Okay, Cheryl, we are obsessed with you and Adrian and the new show, I Can See Your Voice. Are you two having as much fun as we think you're having? We're having such a good time. It's, um, I mean, it's, it's a really fun show to begin with. And Adrian and I, I feel like we have, uh, we have laser lock eyeballs and we look at each other like, mm hmm, that just happened. Um, so we have our own, <laughs> we, we have our own language. Yeah. The show is about guessing who can sing without ever hearing their voice. Can you carry a tune yourself, Cheryl? No, I cannot. <laughs> Don't believe her. Don't believe her. Cheryl can not only sing, but she also can dance. Now, that you'll admit to. You know you can dance. Oh, I can get downtown if I need to, but I cannot <laughs> sing. <laughs> oh, okay. I love okay. it. No, she can sing, though, and she's really good at sometimes imitating some of the voices on the show. Oh, really? wow. Really? Yes, yeah, I, prepare, I, I can, prepare to see I, that. <laughs> I can listen to somebody and imitate it, uh, but oh, that's God. about, that's as far as my skill set goes. That's mm. great, though. It's, it's, it's a wonderful <laughs> skill set. With that being said, let's take a look at you in action on I Can See Your Voice. <laughs> I feel like that was him. That's who he is. That's how he sounds. He doesn't have a lot of stage A hustle. But uh, well, What do you call that stage? A, a hustle. hustle. Okay. Um, but the librarian does. I don't know if the voice matched the librarian. We were like, oh, are, the are you with me on the librarian? Be able to sing. And now... I actually don't think she's a singer. We're together. We're together. Wow. I love it. I love show. it. I love it. I it's love it. so much fun doing this show with you, but you know that I was super starstruck when I actually got to work with you on this show. And the fact, just the idea that I was going to be working with you because I'm so obsessed with Curb Your Enthusiasm. So I'm curious, Cheryl, have you ever met somebody that you would consider to be like one of your, like your most surprising fan? Someone you would never think would be a huge fan of yours? Well, I went to the White House Correspondents' Dinner one year, and um, nice. I was surprised that Wolf Blitzer came up <laughs> and said hi. <laughs> what? Wolf oh, Blitzer. Really? What? Yeah. What? What okay. did he say? Uh, I think he. I think he said he liked Curb Your Enthusiasm, and uh, I was of really. Course. I mean, I really didn't hear anything he said because I. I went into that, you know, mode of, oh, Wolf Blitzer, Wolf, Wolf, uh -huh. it's coming at me. Um, so it was, uh, it was just a really nice moment. He was very kind and uh, personable and it was sort of surreal. That is very cool. Who doesn't love Curb Your Enthusiasm, though? But I have to ask you, Cheryl, of Seriously. all the reality competition shows, if you could be a contestant on one of them, which would you choose? I would love to be on Dancing with the Stars. No way! Really? I do. I love and Jeannie. I mean, we need to talk. There's a lot to talk about here. Um, I know yes. she'll give you all the details. She was I killing got, it. I know she was killing it. I know, but I love the show, and it it's like a it's a fantasy to imagine waking up in the morning and the one thing you have to do is dance all day and then go to bed and wake up in the morning and dance all day. It sounds great, doesn't it? Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. And they say that like your body gets amazing, but you're already an amazing dancer, but have you ever done anything like ballroom dancing? No. <laughs> no, we need to see this happen. Good. I love the giggle. Yeah. We need to make this happen. Let's make now, this Cheryl, happen. Before we let you go, you're hosting a podcast with the hilarious Tig Nataro. Tell us about it. So Tig and I host a podcast called Tig and Cheryl True Story. And we watch a documentary and then we talk about it. So it's really oh. fun. You can follow us on um, Instagram, Tig and Cheryl True Story. And we'll announce what documentary we're going to watch next and then you know, we just talk about all of it. And it's usually, I mean, they're not all funny, let's be honest, because they're documentaries. Some of them are serious right. and some of them are um, about music, but we cover different styles and different genres. So it's just really, it's a fun, fun time. I love that. And documentaries are my favorite. I love I documentaries. I love documentaries. Me too.
Cheryl, we thank you so much for being with us today. You're always so much fun, and we love you so, so much. Fun. You can catch Adrian and Cheryl on I Can See Your Voice Wednesday nights at 9 on Fox.